This K&N air intake system is designed to increase power and acceleration by reducing restriction in the intake path. K&N 69-5309 TS air intake fits 2011, 2012, and 2013 Hyundai Sonatas, as well as 2011 through 2013 Kia Optima with two liter engines. The 63-5309 TS air intake is not legal for highway use in California or other states adopting California emission standards. Check knfilters.com for an up-to-date list of models this air intake fits and for a list of other carb adoption states. K&N power testing showed an estimated power gain of 7.6 horsepower at 4861 RPM with the 69-5309 TS air intake installed on a 2013 Kia Optima with a 2-liter engine. Actual results will vary depending on the condition of the vehicle, mileage, weather and other variables. With the air intake installed, we ran the vehicle on the dyno to test the sound comparison versus the stock intake. The intake system includes components that have been designed or matched to the needs of these vehicles to produce a safe horsepower increase. Detailed instructions are included with this kit. The tools needed for this install are shown. Turn off the ignition and disconnect the negative battery cable. Remove the two bolts that secure the fresh air intake scoop to the core support and then remove the fresh air intake scoop from the vehicle. Loosen the spring clamps and then disconnect the blow-off valve hose, EVAP hose, and crankcase vent hose from the intake tube. The spring clamps will not be reused. Loosen the hose clamp securing the intake hose to the airbox. Remove the two bolts securing the airbox to the mounting bracket. Then remove the airbox from the vehicle. Canon recommends that customers do not discard factory air intake. Loosen the hose clamp securing the intake tube to the turbo inlet and then remove the intake hose from the vehicle. Install the provided 90 degree elbow hose onto the turbo inlet and secure with the provided hose clamp. Do not completely tighten at this time. Install the provided 90 degree and straight vent fittings into the K&N intake tube. Set the K&N intake tube into position in the silicone hose. Do not completely tighten the hose clamp at this time. Install the two one half inch high rubber mounted studs provided into the airbox mount bolt locations. Install the provided one inch high rubber mounted stud into the heat shield mounting stud. Install the heat shield mounting stud onto the heat shield using the provided hardware. Install the air filter adapter into the heat shield and secure with the provided hardware. Cut the provided edge trim into two sections. One section is to be 39 inches long and one section will be 3 inches long. Install the edge trim onto the heat shield. Slide the silicone hose onto the intake tube all the way on. Do not tighten at this time. Set the heat shield into position on the rubber mounted studs and secure with the provided hardware. Align the intake tube with the filter adapter and slide the silicone hose onto the adapter. Tighten all of the hose clamps for the upper and lower silicone hoses, securing the intake tube. Connect the blow-off valve hose, EVAP hose, and crankcase vent hose to the intake tube and secure with the provided hose clamps. Install the K&N air filter and secure with the provided hose clamp. Reinstall the fresh air intake scoop and secure with the factory hardware. Reconnect the vehicle's negative battery cable. Double check to make sure everything is tight and properly positioned before starting the vehicle. It will be necessary for all K&N high flow air intake systems to be checked periodically for realignment, clearance and tightening of all connections. Failure to follow the above instructions or proper maintenance may void warranty. K&N makes products for nearly every vehicle on the road. The K&N website allows you to search products by vehicle or dimension download installation instructions, view dyno chart showing estimated horsepower gains for this product, and view product details.
For information on where to buy K&N products, go to knfilters.com.